Hi guys, gonna have another go at the balloon powered helicopter. I've been trying to find a suitable tube that's the right size for the neck of the balloon to grip onto that I can then put my straws in. And I'm thinking of using a styrofoam plate as the rotor arms. So in a minute I'll mark that up and cut out cut it out into a four legged or four armed rotor. I've been looking around and it looks to me like the tubes on the outside of these nasal inhalers are just about the right size for the neck of a balloon. So that's what I'm going to try. And the outside of that looks about the right size. Don't need that bit. Let's try a balloon. Right, so we can get a balloon on there. So I'll now drill four holes in it for the straws. In fact, I'll probably melt them with a soldering iron because that'll be a convenient way to get the holes the right size. And I'll mark this up for the rotor blades. the straws taped in place. So, better find a balloon again I guess. Still another failure I'm afraid. I've sorted several issues but we're still not getting any lift. I'm getting a, a good spin and a slowed descent but it's not lifting. I've cut flaps or whatever you want to call them on each of the rotor arms here to try and increase the lift generated. And I figured out how to get the balloon onto the end quite easily. And I've also added a tiny bit of weight to the bottom of the balloon to help to hold it the right way up. Obviously any extra weight doesn't help though because that adds to the total weight. The only thing I haven't done yet is tried cutting half of this away so there's less weight. So I'll just demonstrate how to get the balloon on the end and demonstrate how it doesn't work and then we'll um, see about chopping the bottom off and seeing if a bit less weight helps because we could also chop these bits off. I don't know whether they're helping or hindering. Alright, 
the trick is to try and trap part of the lip of the balloon on one side and then pull it over. So it's on. Now I'll go and demonstrate it not working. We'll drop it over the stairwell because it's only going to go down, not up. So that demonstrated that we're getting quite a good spin rate, but it's going down, not up. So I'm not quite sure which to do next, whether to chop the bottom off here. If I do cut the bottom off, that means we lose that handy little lip. So I'm not sure if it will be a problem with the balloon blowing off the bottom, not staying in place. Or do we cut these extra bits off? which are probably not doing anything other than slowing it down. I think I'll cut these off first. Well, I didn't bother to video that, and I can tell you it made no difference. So now I'll try and cut part of the body off and see if that'll help lighten it. That shortened it quite a bit. So now we'll find out if the balloon still grips. That didn't seem to improve it either. Summary time. What have we got? We've got another fail. It's supposed to be a balloon powered helicopter and I've tried various formats of it but we're not getting any lift at all. It's spinning faster than the previous version did but even with extra flaps turned down it's not lifting. It's slowing the descent, but it's not lifting. So, another fail, and I think I'm going to give it a rest now. If anybody else thinks they can do better, then do it and show us the video. I will just say again, I have seen a toy that does this and works. So, they are available but obviously those will be purpose-made plastic mouldings that have all the right um, dimensions in them to get the best out of a balloon.